Oh no, your door stickers have been ripped off. That sucks. <clears throat> hey, you got adjustable brake pedals? No kidding. Well, this is like the uh, cat's meow. Be careful, the brake pedal. What's up with the brake pedal? It wiggles. Uh, you gotta get the new plastic, please. <clears throat> Can I move the seat at least? I don't give a shit. You ain't gonna be able to reach them otherwise. Yeah, me and my little chicken legs. Recline it here. I don't know how it works. I think it's all power. No, well, there's a handle here. Oh. The black one. I think your recliner's stuck. It might be. Yeah, I'm not gonna break it. I'll be okay. Just slide a little bit more forward. All right, here we go. 2006 Dodge Ram 3500 single wheel instead of a dually. K band. Oh, this is orgasmic. Yeah, I'm gonna impersonate my Dodge sound, my coming sound. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> now, I believe with these third gens, if you turn the if you if you turn the cruise on, and then you hit the set, uh, is, you can. I think the tuner is screwing. With it. Oh, you know what I was trying to do—the high idle. High idle. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me buckle up once. So, what tuner do you have on this girl? That's a good question. I don't know. You don't know. Radio looks nice. It's got it. It's uh, edge. Oh yeah, edge. I didn't notice that at the bottom. That is really cool. So uh, does this have a backup camera hooked up to it or no? No. Okay. So well, what's this button here? Is that your uh, engine That's brake? That's for the power center window. The cable's cut on because it froze. Oh, the power sliding rear window. Yeah. Okay. So you got you. Oh, you got a button that makes snow. How about that? Right. Yeah. Okay. Then you got an automatic button four wheel drive and. Nice uh, cup holder here. Yeah, it's because these ones suck. Do they really? Yeah. I was going to say, this. I've seen this little plastic addition. They make them for second gen. So you stick them on the inside mm -hmm. and then you close the lid. So you're getting about 18.6 miles per mm -hmm. gallon. That's a little off. You average is about 16. Oh, man. You even got a moonroof? Man, this is really decked <laughs> out. Uh, it's silicone shut because it leaks. But... Oh, I hate moonroofs for that reason. If I could avoid a moonroof, I would totally do that for sure. Fair enough. So no plus or minus. I know the newer third gens had a plus or minus after the drive, but I guess you don't have that here. Oh. Just turn my headlights on. Yeah, I always drive my lights on. Lights on for safety, everybody. Rookie driver, I'm, watch out. I'm a Walmart driver. Today you're out to 79. Oh. Maybe I don't need a school bus. Maybe I just need a, a ram. See, I'm not romping on it. <clears throat> so how long do you plan on keeping this one for? Yeah, well, well, as long as I kept the Challenger, I don't plan on selling it, but if a good, good deal comes my way, a good deal comes my way. Yeah. your window haze because of you vaping or is it something else? I haven't really been vaping so kind of cut that out. It's, uh, if it's anything I'm probably like the 60 series Detroit so just get the haze from the defrost not to mention it sits in a dirty yard so part of it's on the outside. Okay I wasn't sure if it was on the inside. Yeah. Okay it's a little stiff over the bumps. Yeah I was gonna say having solid axles would do that for sure. Well it's also a one ton. Yeah. Well did I tell you I've got a 2002 Dodge Ram 2500? Uh-uh. Yeah I picked that up in November last year. Picked it up for 1800 threw another 1500 in it to get it drivable. And um, <clears throat> it's got the 360 in it. It doesn't have the, the 5.9 Cummins in it but it's got the 5.9 V8 in it. No, the Magnum? Huh? 
60 cubic inch 5.9 liter v8 yep. so i bought that to get rid of the silverado but um hell it's a uh, in shane's auto in nashville right now um needing to get um head gaskets done and the oh, hell of it is the motor was a remand it doesn't even have 10,000 miles on it since the remand and the head gaskets let go oh, shit. so 1500 bucks later we're having to do a a um a, 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 a new cylinder head gasket for it I would love to get me a second gen 12 valve or a second gen 24 valve, preferably a 98.0 because they have the new dash, but they still have the 12 valve, so it's very hard to find. But uh, any more, any second gen coming you find is usually clapped out or really expensive. Yep. Oh man, this is just powerful. Dodge steering's typical, it seems. A little, little, yeah, little bit of we've slack. Done some work on the steering here. I got it. It was pulling hard to the right. You gotta do shock. It's like torque steer board. then. Hey, it drives like a Peterbilt. Oh yeah, it's still pretty a nice. Little slack in the steering, it's loose. I still like it. Once we get on the straightaway, I'll turn around. We'll take us right back. That's fine. Thanks for letting me drive it, man. You're welcome. This is like my first real time truly driving a third gen. Hmm. Can't say I've ever truly gotten to, to drive one, so. It's not a bad truck. I don't like the 03 style, which was the very beginning part of the third gen. It's this facelift with this this style of headlights that I like more. Because like I said, the 03 with the little dips in the headlights, I yeah. could care less for. I think they're ugly. <clears throat> oh great, there's a guy outside. He's like, what the hell is this guy doing? A really nice truck, man. Thank you. With 186,000 miles, she's not even yep. broke in yet. No, uh, no rust on her either. Well, keep her that way. She find yourself a shitty Toyota Camry to daily in the winter instead of this. <laughs> so five presses. Uh, is, is if anything, I'll go get me another police cruiser. Right. Okay. So this is your overdrive off it's button. Right overdrive. There. And, uh, <coughs> the other one. I got long pressing. There we go. Oh, it does two things. It does tow haul, overdrive off, and then it shuts off. Yep. Okay, I was just curious. So it's got four speeds. It's got four gears going forward. Yep. Fair enough. So if I wanted to, not, not that I'm going to do it, but if it was my truck, I would literally just manually shift it from first to second, and then have the overdrive off, put it in drive, and then turn the overdrive on when I was wanting to go into the final gear, because I like to manually shift automatics as silly as that is. Huh? Yeah. I, gets me from point A to point B. Just step on the gas and go. <laughs> go. <clears throat> hey, look, there's a Highlander right there. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a big old retard for these trucks. <laughs> About the 2000, 21, 2200 RPM uh, point right there. That's the pitch I like to hear when it's accelerating. Uh, I think that's where the Bluebirds would be when they were accelerating. And behind them, they had the <clears throat> Allison AT 545. And those transmissions had a hell of a whine when you'd hear it. Oh, all right. I took quite a few videos while I was still in school. So when I end this video, I'll have to show you. It's just such a sweet sound for people who love them. And then when we get parked, I'll show you, it's like about at, yeah, right there, while we're cruising right now, about uh, 12, 1300 RPMs. 
is what the high idle would be for a school bus because the school buses have a designated high idle switch. You press it and it immediately jumps up to like 12, 1300 RPMs to warm up the engine a little bit quicker. Yeah, just start them up like big drug. You want to start it up, let it idle until the idles drop, and then you can high idle. Right, you don't want to go to high idle right. immediately because the oil's still trying to move around. Right. Oh man, I just love this sound. I'm glad it's a 5.9. I mean, 6.7s are okay, but I would much take a 5.9 over a 6.7. 6.7s seven. are a lot more quieter. I have driven a 4th Gen 6.7 before. No, that's because they got all the emission stuff, so they are quieter. Yeah, see, there's a 4th Gen right there. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the 5th Gens? Alright. Yeah. Because originally, I wanted a 7.3. Did you really? Yeah, I was going to go forward. What made you want to get a Ford? Oh, I've always been a Ford. You've always liked the 7.3s? Would you have gotten an older one, like an International IDI 7.3, or, or like a 99? Uh, I was going to get an uh, OBS. I found a couple of really okay. nice ones. So late 80s, early 90s. Hey, you dick. Fucking Chevy fag. Oh, there goes YouTube monetizing my video now. <laughs> oh, just put a bleep in it. I don't do that really. I, I probably could figure it out, but I don't. <laughs> now that is a nice truck, a GMT 900, and it's a crew cab long bed, which is how I would option my truck. No, it's not. It's a fucking Chevy. This one I want is another maxi pad. Well, I don't want to. I mean, I dropped the Cummins in a Chevy, but um, that that cat eye generation isn't bad. I'm not saying they're bad. I don't like body styles on them either. That's a your own, buddy. <laughs> No maxi pads, and just remember, yeah. that she ain't 280, she ain't a lady. <laughs> That's why I got a one-ton. Yep. Oh, wait, no, I got a one-ton because they sit taller, no fat chicks. <laughs> yeah, mirrors are Yeah, nice you're right. So you Just now I realized that your brake pedal does actually move to the side. Yeah, she got a little wobble. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. That's better once you get yeah, there you go. I got a squeaky pulley. Okay, so what I was talking about for the high idle. Yeah, about 1100, 1200. Yep. I love that pitch as well. I just love the 24 <laughs> valve. Well, that's going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching, guys. You all take care. Bye bye. This one. Can't forget. Oh yeah.